Okay, so last week I started looking at this uh, Boltaco Persang Mark 10 250. Uh, and it had massively low compression. It like it didn't feel as though when I kicked the kickstart, it didn't feel as though there was anything inside. There was no. It felt as though there was no piston going up and down. Anyway, it turns out there was a piston, uh, but there was uh, a huge amount of clearance. Uh, and when we took uh, when we took the uh, the barrel off, I also discovered that the uh, that the gasket, the base gasket look completely wrong so someone's made this themselves and if you just look at the uh, the one that we've taken out there compared to this one as you can see it's just completely different so that's that maybe wouldn't have stopped it running but it's definitely not going to help so I've got a little assistant here uh, and uh, what he's going to do is he's going to uh, cover this with Vaseline and uh, we're going to uh, we're going to put that uh, back onto the uh, the base on the crankcases, and then we're going to uh, we're going to put the piston onto the uh, onto the conrod. Like I say, last week I checked the conrod; there was no play in the uh, in the big end, so it should be fine. Uh, and then we're going to uh, put the piston in, and uh, then we're going to put the uh, the barrel on. That's been. Uh, that's been bored out uh, with the correct clearance and uh, we might not get this finished tonight because uh, it's uh, it's nearly tea time isn't it Jamie yeah uh, but we'll uh, we'll see where we get to with it and uh, hopefully on uh, Monday at the latest she should be running so my little apprentice Jamie has uh, coated the base gasket in Vaseline and I've just stuck a little bit of two stroke oil uh, in the uh, the top of the conrod, uh, can't go amiss really. A bit of lubrication is going to help it. Um, and then we're uh, Jamie's going to help me with an extra pair of hands. With us, we've done our maths, so we've measured because it's a different piston uh, to uh, the one that we took out. So we've measured the gap here, haven't we, Jamie? Yeah. And then we've measured the width of the little end of the conrod. Uh, and then these two little uh, little spacers here, uh, just to make sure that they're all going to fit. Uh, and they should do so with some help of some little fingers. Then hopefully uh, it'll all go in. So nice the big easy. thing, really, the big thing to remember with a two-stroke engine is to make sure the piston goes in the right way around. I've seen it before. I've seen bikes that aren't running and then you take the flipping top off and the piston's gone the wrong way around so um that's the exhaust side the arrow on all pistons is always the exhaust side so it's difficult to video that but the little hands these little hands they definitely helped uh so we've got the uh put the little end bearing into the top of the con into the little end of the conrod uh i put the uh the clip into one side of the piston, put the uh, the wrist pin through from the other side, put one of the spacers in, slid that through uh, through the little hand bearing, and then managed to slide the uh, the second spacer up into this side of the uh, base of the piston. And then now I've just got to put the one clip in back into the other side. Once we've done that, then uh, I'll put the exhaust uh, manifold and the inlet manifold back on the uh back on the barrel and then uh, the piston ring can go on the piston the barrel can go on uh and it's it talks down um so the head talks down onto the uh top of the barrel and the barrel talks down on uh, on these uh studs um so it's effectively it's all one job so we don't talk the barrel down until the head's on uh and then uh, yeah so once that's done we will do a bit of a compression test and then uh, see if she runs there we go the uh piston's in the barrel is on so jamie's going to uh push the kickstart down all looks good i've put a bit of two-stroke oil on the bore 
uh, just to help with a bit of lubrication. I, I don't think you can uh, have enough really. I mean, it's going to get burned off very quickly, and then the uh, the the premix is going to is going to take the care of that for us. But just as everything's kind of new, uh, I, I just like to have a bit of extra in there really. So we'll uh, put the head gasket on, and then we'll uh, tuck the head down. Uh, I need to get the carb cleaned as well. Jamie's Jamie's taking that off for me, so uh, we're going to uh, going to clean that out, and uh, then hopefully once that's done, then we can get a run in. Jamie, yeah? what do you reckon? Yeah. Do you reckon you'll be able to kick it over? No. No, I don't think so either, mate. Jamie's just just tightening these uh, head and uh, barrel bolts down. Um, he's doing it in a star pattern, Jamie, aren't you? Yeah. And then uh, once he's tightened them down a bit, then we're going to get the torque wrench on. And we're going to uh, torque them all down to 25 newton metres, which should be right. And then we'll put the plug in. Uh, sorry, we'll put the uh, compression tester in, see what compression we, compression we get in. And then, what time is it then, Jamie, do you reckon? Tea time. Tea time, yeah. 